Uh-uh. <laughs> I do not know French's secret recipe. Yeah, my dad shared it uh, many times, and I'll share it with you. A little of this, a little of that, and plenty of the other. <laughs> They hadn't changed much since I was a kid, so man, I think it takes you back to that when you're younger. You know, I've been, mm -hmm. I was in college. The first place I'd eat when I came back in town was Fritz's Chicken. We like doing business in Third Ward, and this is where we're known to exist. Beyonce and uh, one of her songs talk about our boudin in the parking lot. Frenchies. Boudin in the parking lot. This is one of her stops uh, when she comes to Houston. We started right across the street in front of Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. A regular size gumbo and six boudin balls. They asked if we would uh, consider letting them have our property so that they could expand. Today, the end of an era for the screened-in porch, the bench-style seating, walk-up window Frenchies. Tomorrow, driving by the yellow building that sat on Scott Street for decades, well, it won't be the same. You don't stop God's work. Over there, that's God's work. Oh, uh, what are we going to do uh, when church lets out at um, 12 o'clock on Sunday? That's where we usually went to get our food. Just leave it to us. We'll be able to organize that. Someone want to come from out of town and they didn't know that we moved, they'll go drive in and be extremely disappointed. But if they just continue down the street, they will uh, see us here. Here we are. How many breasts and wings you going to cook for? We didn't know it starting out, but as the business evolved, it was obvious that we had something good. This is a picture of me, my sister Angel, my brother John, and my cousin, who actually opened Frenchies July the 3rd, 1969, and her name is Novelle. It was an experience. We were new on the block, and sometimes the little man has real difficulty getting the foot in the door. My daddy's idea in 1969 was to introduce Houston to the New Orleans Poe Boys. It was my husband who decided that he was going to open a restaurant. I was doing something else at the time, but somehow he involved me in the cooking of some of these products. Our featured item was a Creole hot sausage po' boy. And that was direct from New Orleans. An oyster po' boy, a shrimp po' boy, fish po' boys, and we also had a hamburger uh, po' boy. And in addition to that, we actually had roast beef, too. <laughs> Some days, we would not make but four or five dollars a day selling sandwiches. <laughs> There was a car salesman, his name was Jesse Hearn. He and my daddy were friends. Jesse suggested that my daddy start frying chicken. We never did come to sell chicken, we came to sell sandwiches. Jesse informed him that he was going to starve trying to teach people to eat a po' boy and you need to start frying chicken. Jesse went and got a chicken, made my daddy fry it. I bought a little fryer filled it with grease, seasoned it like we did at home, and the rest was history. In the front of Fritz's, my old stomping the best chicken in the world. And red beans and rice and food. You can't even try to fix me. Now I'm eating chicken from that place called Fritz's. We have nine franchise stores starting out we had no idea of the popularity uh, of the chicken. Uh, through the test of time, we know that it is good. A little of this, a little of that, and plenty of the other. <laughs>